Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here. Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you iPhone and iPod users how to get the iPhone and iPod 3.0 software update for free. Now, if you're an iPhone user, you would regularly get this free in iTunes, uh, but however, you wouldn't get the file, the IPSW file. Now, if you're an iPod Touch user, you would regularly have to pay $9.95 to upgrade to the 3.0 platform, but in this video, I'll be showing you how to get it for free. It's quick, it's simple, and it's easy. Just to show you that I'm not uh, fooling around with you, and I do have the 3.0 software, I'll slide to unlock. This is not the beta, by the way. This is the full-out version. I have voice memos, which is the first indication that I have 3.0, and if I swipe to the left, it brings up Spotlight, which is another feature only on 3.0. Now, just to prove it to you a little more, I'll go to Settings, and I'll go to General, and I'll go to About, about this iPod, and right there it says Version 3.0 7A341, which is the official release of iPhone 3.0. Unfortunately for Apple, it was released about a week early in a torrent file, um, and uh, thanks to the guys who got us that. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to get the software and load it onto your iPod. Now, this is not a jailbreak. This is the complete, legit, real deal. Um, this is the actual 3.0 software that you would have got next week anyways. You're just getting it a week earlier. So, the steps you need to do in order to get this 3.0 software is have the latest version of iTunes, which is iTunes 8.2. A free download can be grabbed from Apple's website. Uh, very easy, and as I said before, it's free. The next thing you want to do is connect to your computer via USB cable so that uh, your iPod is recognized in iTunes. And this will work on a Mac and a PC, so uh, no matter what operating system you're running. I just happen to be running Mac. Now, once your iPod is connected to your computer, like so, and it's showing up in this beautiful little screen here, it'll say the name of your iPod, the capacity, the software version, and the serial number, blah, 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 blah. Now, depending on what device you have, let's say you have an iPod Touch 2nd Gen, just like me. I want you to go over to the link in the description. It will be there. Right in the description, there will be a line of text that says iPod Touch 2nd Gen. Beside that text, there will be a link. What I want you to do is click on the link that corresponds with your device, whether it be iPod Touch 1st Gen, 2nd Gen, iPhone 3G, or iPhone 1st Gen. That will bring up this page in your web browser, which is depositfiles.com, very similar to an FTP server and rapidshare.com. Now, there's no need to, to buy anything. All you have to click when this page comes up is free downloading. Very simple. Th that will bring up this page with this wonderful timer over here. Just wait 60 seconds. It's not that long. While you're waiting, you can check out lukedemarco.com. Now, I've already got this file downloaded, so once that countdown ends, the, fi the download file will begin. Now, it's about 260 megabytes, so uh, it may, may take a few more minutes, giving you just a little more time to check out my website. So, once that is downloaded, it will appear on your desktop like so. And if it doesn't appear on your desktop, it may appear somewhere else, and you just uh, I just moved it to my desktop for convenience. So you can either spotlight it or search it. It's called the iPod Restore.ipsw. Just search, uh, search IPSW. So now I've got this on my desktop here. It's a file. It's got a logo of a music symbol or a music note on it, as well as an iPod. It looks like a little Lego brick. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to open up iTunes, still making sure that your iPod is connected to your computer via USB. Now, if you're on a PC, what I want you to do is click, is hold down Shift, and then click the Restore button right here. And let me just kind of zoom in the camera a little bit. That Restore button right there, click, sh hold down, sh this is if you're on a PC, hold down Shift, and then click Restore. However, if you are on a Mac, hold down the Option key and hit Restore. That will bring up this lovely little window right here that will ask you to navigate for the restore.ipsw. Now all you want to do is click on that and then click open. Once that's open, you are good to go. Your iPhone or iPod will load with the 3.0 software. It will ask you, however, to, um, unfortunately, yes, this will wipe your device. This, the, so you're going to want to back up your device before you get onto this, before you get onto the 3.0 software, because once you sync it, unfortunately, it will wipe everything. But uh, it's just an easy sync. You can back up right from the menu. It'll ask you to rename your iPod or iPhone, and uh, you'll be good to go. So it's very easy, very quick, very simple, and it's very easy to back up and then recover 
once you've got the 3.0 software on. And it's very nice. You've got voice memos. If you're uh, an iPhone user, you've got uh, voice memos and you've got Spotlight. And you've got all sorts of other neat features and applications. Like, for say, per se, in Notes, you've got a nice landscape keyboard now. Let's pull up the keyboard. So, yeah. And like the note says, guys, this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com Luke DeMarco reminding you to rate, comment, and subscribe for more awesome tech videos. We'll see you in the next video, guys.